What's the date today? 17th of October. 17th of October. Okay. What? Hang on. Hang on. Okay, what have we got? Okay, Lobelia. They're still going strong. That's quite nice. Um, the sedum that seeded itself. The black currant. That's sorry, that's the blackberry. That's the black currant. And the tomatoes, which are about to come out. Um, uh, yeah, a quick look around. Where the whole gardens we are. Um, my cuttings from the hydrangeas. A savoy cabbage for later in the year. And I've just um, planted some marigolds there. They're the ones that mum gave me. Um, I'm not sure what varieties they are, but she said they're proper marigolds. So anyway, she said plant them now for next year, so I have, and they've come up, and they're looking, they're looking quite good. Whether they'll survive the winter, I don't know, but there we go. Uh, Pelagoniums, I've got to do the cuttings from these, because, but I'm reluctant to, because they're so, still so, so pretty. Leeks, doing well. The old marigolds hanging in. Oh, one bought me some uh, wallflowers, but they're not doing so well. Uh, and this year's strawberry runners. What else have we got? Uh, nothing much in the greenhouse at the moment. I've got uh, strawberries. Uh, they're pansies, which I was hoping that might turn into winter pansies, but at this rate they look more like spring pansies. That, I can't remember what that was, but that was meant to flower this year, but it didn't, so I'm just going to leave it next to the it's green, see what happens. Uh, the parsnips, they're not doing so well, because I don't know what's, what's wrong with these, but they seem to have got some sort of thing attacking their leaves and killing them, so I'm not sure. Lettuce still looking good. That's uh, the cut and come again that I sowed for... The autumn, which is quite nice. Uh, more cabbages, some lavender cuttings that I did earlier in the year, um, some traces. So they're looking quite healthy, quite good. Me pansies now. So I went out and bought these pansies. Now they're looking quite nice, coming along quite well. The end of the courgettes. They. <laughs> I think that's going to be the last courgette we're going to get this year, but that's not bad, it's uh, October. The end of the tomatoes, this is sort of like the last bit of the tomatoes, I'm going to probably make a green tomato chutney out of these because I don't think they're going to be able to ripen them properly. Uh, raspberries, uh, these are me raspberries, I've just picked these but uh, there's a couple that uh, I've left on because they're not quite ripe yet. Um, but it's, we've had tons of this raspberry, amazing. Anyway, um, I took a cutting, well actually I accidentally chopped a bit of raspberry off, so that's my new raspberry, which um, I'm hoping will come on quite nicely in the next uh, year, and then I can uh, plant that out. I think I'm gonna dig up that lavender, because that's very sprawly and tatty old lavender, and stick the raspberry in there, so that's quite nice. Those are the foxgloves. Um, they will uh, hopefully flower next spring. Another cutting of the hydrangea. That's looking quite good. Not sure what to do with them yet. I've just got them dotted all over the garden. Honeysuckle. I'm going to take a, pic a look at this because I'm not sure whether I've killed it or not. <laughs> See if uh, I should plant it in the garden and I haven't. So there we go. The uh, apple tree. Yeah, it didn't produce apples this year because I cut it back too hard last year. So we're going to go easy on it this year and hopefully we'll get apples next year. That's the um, 
purple sprouting broccoli, hopefully for next spring. And fishies. Uh, so I don't think fishies don't come up very well on the pictures. But um, there we are. They are there. <laughs> Two of them anyway. Beans. Oh, they're still going. They won't stop. Hopefully they'll stop soon. I'll take them out. Um, end of the beetroot. A few bits of flowers. Uh, the Vigla, that's ridiculous how big that Vigla is now compared to where I cut it back. Amazing. This area here, drop down the hydrangea right uh, quite low and then made a little froggy house with me wood. Um, and then this bed here, which at the moment is just sort of turf that I've turned over, um, I'm going to make into another vegetable bed. So I thought it was quite a nice use of this area. Put some stones around the end there so that I can still get to me um, clematis which are uh, just finishing flowering on there so hopefully um, they'll look good next year when that all comes in yeah so uh, some more fox clubs in the corner there that area is just covered in um, what they call primrose, absolutely covered in them, so that's going to look quite nice. <laughs> Dirty old bit of carpet and uh, waste bucket, which I've been too lazy to move, so that's nice. Uh, this plant I got, um, my mother was uh, doing out her front beds, well I was doing out mother's front beds for her, and I um, she had this, comes Lots of, covered in lots of little uh, purple flowers in summer so I thought well that, uh, that'd be quite nice so it's ground cover and I've got nothing else in the bottom here at the moment um, that fern rescued from Tracy's that's doing very well um, and then the compost heap which at the moment eh, lots of compost I think there's actually a, a potato growing in the compost down there. Another one. Yeah, that looks like potato to me. So, um, fire pit. Oh, and now I've also got uh, rose cuttings, which uh, I um, took from Mum's roses one pink and one um, red I think there um, so they'll be quite nice when they root even there for a year hopefully they'll get some new growth on those so that'll look quite good otherwise I think we're pretty much done yeah that's that's pretty much it so uh, see you in November Bye.